Hello, good evening, and welcome to another editing video. Today, today I had the pleasure of uh, going outside for a little bit. It snowed last night here in Connecticut, and let me tell you, the roads were horrible. There was at least one very, very serious accident that occurred on these roads. Um, so I was extremely careful uh, last night and today on the roads. They weren't too bad today. But, <clears throat> yeah, I was able to, to get out a little bit, even though I have my middle ear infection. So I have to be very careful and not wander too far. Uh, there was a place I would really would, would, would love to have gone today. I saw it you know, driving in up a hill. But unfortunately, um, I was, uh, I'm was i not in that great, that great of health to be doing that today, and I knew I just had to call it because I couldn't, I couldn't really foresee myself making it back safely. It was on a windy hill, and there were cars coming around, and it was getting close to 5 o'clock. And it, even though that's, that's not a very busy road, um, there are cars that go through there, and it's very windy, and somebody... Uh, you know, if I'm fiddling around there at that time and, I, and I'm not in good health, not in, I wouldn't say good health, but if I have a cold and I'm compromised in that fashion, I don't want somebody to get into an accident because I want to take a picture, basically. Um, you know, that's not a, you know that's the thing that I can do. <clears throat> so just get out of the way. <laughs> um, but anyway. Um, so, I was able um, to make a, make a dinner last night that I got with some of the ingredients I got from the store during the snowstorm. I have all-wheel drive, and I drive very carefully. I used to work as a driver for a while. Um, you know, just off and on, it's a fun thing, because I, I like driving. Um, I, was, you know, I'm a, I think I'm an excellent driver. Um, other people would just say I'm a terrifying driver, but <laughs> that's only when I'm really uh, trying to push my envelope. But to, I wasn't looking to do, looking to get into any kind of serious business last night with my driving because I knew it was dangerous out. Uh, I saw a few accidents. <laughs> Actually, it happened right in front of me, at least one. But anyway, that's enough about that. Let's do our sandwich that I made, which is very excellent. I'm gonna put the um, I'm gonna put the the. I'm sorry. I'm gonna put the ingredients in the description for the YouTube video. So if this is if you're watching this on Facebook, check out my YouTube video for the for the ingredients. Uh, I just don't have time to write everything everywhere. Um, it's just easier. I'll throw the link out. So anyway, let's open this in Lightroom. So let's go ahead open our Lightroom. I like the newer version. Uh, been comparing them. Oh, and I was testing out my multi multicolored spectrum light from GB. Was it GBM? It's really nice. Uh, if I can get it to work for for everybody or myself here at least. See, check it out. It's a nice accent light. It's really it's really got really nice color. Uh, I think it's fantastic, and I've only been using it for a half a day, and it's like I can't live without it already. <laughs> it does all different modes, and very, very nice, absolutely. So far, I'm thrilled with it. You know, I hopefully will get up a review on this in the near future. However, right now. What I am looking to do is edit that sandwich. So I gotta add the photo. So I gotta find her. Gotta find the one that I didn't previously attempt at it. I say attempt because something happened with the hue, and I don't want to get into that. <laughs> but anyway, um, the selection panel. This is just a full screen view right here. It's on the bottom left. It's a bigger. I like. I like this one personally. It's my lovely cat, Tristan. What he's doing over there. Um, so yeah, this isn't cropped, believe it or not. So try to get out of this. There we go. There's always that control minus that'll get you out of that because I, I don't like that view. I like I get uh, claustrophobic in my in my pictures and in real life sometimes. I don't like to be. I like to see everything for what it is. Um, so yes, that's my nice fresh cilantro, which is delicious. But anyway, just gonna do because this sandwich is really good. I like it the way it is, but the one thing I think unbalances the picture is that spot right there. I think that's garlic. 
I don't know what that is, but I don't like it. <laughs> so let's go ahead and uh, hit the escape key to get out of whatever we're in. Ooh, not everything. Anyway, our control plus. You know, just thumb the mouse over. There we go. Where's that? There it is, the cilantro leaf. I should get a close up of that. It's nice. Uh, see that little glob of. It might be in the vegetable, but it looks out of place because it's too chunky and it's too big and it doesn't. It makes the photo look unbalanced. And photo unbalanced photos, I don't like them. So let's go to our healing brush, and it's way too big for us to see at the moment. So we'll shrink that that guy down. That about covers it. And I'm gonna bring my feather and touch. Cause I don't, there's no there's no, no real blending in the cheese, so I'm not too worried about. There's a little bit of blending. Let's just try it and see what happens. Let's pull from this side. See how you move this. Right here, and it pulls from that part of the. It pulls a sample. So it doesn't always pull that same part of the image, uh, but it does pull a, a, a decent a sample. It intelligently selects some things. Um, and let me take a closer peek without my eye protection, I call it, because I do need that. Uh, it's, good, it's good to wear polarized lenses if you're working and staring at a lot of lights, if you don't know that already. Um, if I didn't wear them, then I'd be in trouble. <laughs> okay, so that's it. Um, I'm going to check. And our opacity on that was high just because the cheese... That means it's just it's a it's a it's a hard hit, you know. It's not going to blend anything. It's just going to go bam. There it is. And the cheese is not significant. It's not unique enough, right, to even notice. I don't even notice anything. You always zoom out and check if you notice your edit. If you notice your edit, then yeah, it's probably not a good edit. Um, but sometimes you want to come back to your edits and um, take a look. And sometimes I'll come back to my edits and I'll go no 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 no, and I'll have to do them over. And sometimes I won't. Sometimes I go, you know what? That that's it. You know, you always know when it, and that's it. Excuse me. I'm trying to clear my throat here. So let's just uh, let's take this, and I'm gonna work with the tone curve because I haven't done that yet. I'm gonna try to do something I haven't done here, because otherwise it'd be oh, and this shadow right here. You see that blue light, the blue light? Um, that this light was in the corner, right here. And I had a different light, uh, hand light I was using, uh, and I was manipulating that around here. So I don't, know, I like it. I had uh, the handheld light today, which is a lot easier to work with than the old-fashioned bulb. So anyway, I'm just messing with that. Let's check our highlights, shadows. Let's do this really quick because I did want to get to the other one. Let's just leave that. Let's darken that. Just let's check that out because I want to see how the shading goes. So I want it a certain way. You see the plate shadow right there. So I want this a certain way, kind of blending into it, and then the hard, harder, so you can kind of see the defined line. Because I, th I think that's a lot more stylized. I think that's good. I like that. Uh, so let's go ahead and mess with our tone curve. And this just brings certain areas of the, the histogram up and down. So I want to push this up till it gets to where I want, because I want this image to pop. I'm not really selecting fine parts points of this image with the brush because I don't think uh, the background, I like the background the way it is, so I'm not really too worried about it. I don't think I'm going to bring it up. I don't have to bring it up enough on this one, so I don't really need to do that type of edit on this one. And if it's not necessary, then it's just going to create more time in this edit, which I really have to get through kind of quickly because I don't want to be making extremely long videos that nobody's going to watch because those aren't good videos at all. Okay, so I'm kind of happy with that. Basically what this does is it'll mess with your shadows. Well, you can you can adjust if I say mess. You can adjust your shadows, you can adjust your darks, you can adjust your lights, your highlights and in between. It just adjusts certain areas. Um I do it by eye. But in this one our peak is right here. So I wanted to make sure that I accented the peak because I did want it to stick out a bit. And I want to accent it even more. So I want it to look bright. 
I want it to look like something that's coming at you, something you can't resist. Since it's just so looks so inviting. You know, I want it to pull people in because I want to sell my sandwich. Anyway. Let's go to our vignette. Let's try yeah, right. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Oh boy, um, it doesn't really matter because I already vision edited, so I'm not gonna even put it on because it wouldn't work. Anyway, this doesn't. No, I don't want plus two. I want zero. That looks good. Let's try our green out. See, I don't want it a little grainy. I mean, that's cool for like artwork and stuff, but it's not what I'm looking for. We're fine with everything. Same with edits are pretty easy. So let's just go ahead, and yeah, we can export to Photoshop. But I'm gonna go ahead. Or, yeah, you can edit it in Photoshop. I'm going to go ahead and just export it flat out. So, JPG, dimensions full size, quality 100%. And we'll export this photo, and we'll export this photo. And I'm going to do it to my folder. Where'd that go? There it is. Excellent. And there we go. So we have our edit. Uh, I'm not going to do any watermarking. I'm going to just upload this to my gallery and be okay with that. And like I said, the ingredients will be posted on the YouTube description. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you so much again. Take care.